Are you stupid or something? on the way home. I feel responsible for that, you know? Let me make it up to you. Come on, let's go. Home safe. I'm glad you're feeling okay now. Well, I guess I'll head up first. Like I said this morning, meet me on the fourth floor. The chairman should be waiting for us. like you've recovered. I'm glad to see that. There are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. Oh, before that. I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is Sanada-kun. Hey there. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? <laughs> That's a reasonable reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? You had to have noticed the signs. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. With so many things amiss, didn't it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. It occurs each night as the clock strikes 12. It will happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the Dark Hour so interesting. You saw them. Those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the Dark Hour, 
and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like this? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now, he does his work well in any case. I'll get to the point. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's, for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the Shadows. Mitsuru Kirijokun is the leader, and I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Although rare, there are those who can function during the Dark Hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as Persona, the power you called upon the other night. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Ooh, <laughs> I was afraid you'd say no. I'm glad to hear you're on board. Thank you so much, truly. Oh, I almost forgot about your room assignment. Why don't you just stay in the room you have now? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Hold up? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. That's all for today. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later on. I apologize for gathering you all here on your precious day off. Tomorrow is Sunday, so take some time to relax. Well then, shall we end this meeting? You know. Because it's the weekend? Shall we end? Shall week end? Get it? Hi, how have you been? <laughs> I'm always by your side. Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. It's the end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know much about it. More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power. And what an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It might even prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? 
I expect you to honor your commitment. I'm always watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. If you are, could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. Okay, he's here. So what's this about? Thanks for coming. There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. See just a sec. Oh, this thing's freaking heavy. What? Junpei? Why are you here? Don't tell me. This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here from now on. <laughs> What's up? He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. Really? You have the potential? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store. Surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. But he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Do you guys know that? Hey, what's with the top guy act? You should know about it, since you're a Persona user and all. Man, I still can't believe it. I had no idea you guys had this stuff going on, too. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I didn't really want to be doing this on my own. But you gotta be stoked, too, right? Having me join? What? Uh, I guess. Well, enough of the introductions. Now that our forces have increased, I think we're about ready. Ooh, we gotta go do something? Sweetness! I'm getting pumped! With this many people, we could start checking out that tower. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Tartar sauce? What? It's a place that holds the key to understanding the Dark Hour. Or so we think. The key. Huh. The chairman will give us more details tomorrow night, so be ready. on the fourth floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I have something to tell you all. Oh, are we having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. Damn, she doesn't waste any time. She's not like us. She's busy, you know, with the student council or whatever. Oh, Yucatan, do I sense some hostility? It's not that I don't like her, it's just... I don't know. You 
Okay, school days finally over. They're probably waiting for us at the dorm, right? Let's hurry back. The accident delayed our train so much. It's already dark yet. It's been happening a lot lately, though. People jumping onto the tracks. This apathy syndrome thing's getting out of control. It's like the whole world's falling apart. Crap! Everyone else is there already! We better hurry. Oh man, I'm getting kind of hungry. It's small rocks! So many places to chow down. Plus, they're open late. Speaking of, I heard the ramen joint upstairs has a secret late night menu. Gas, gas. Everyone's here. Heck yeah! Let's get right into it! Now, I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Kirijo-kun and Sanada-kun were the only Persona users we had. But that number has recently jumped to five. So here's the plan. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. Uh, so, I asked this yesterday, but what is that Tartar thing again? It's Tartarus. You seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? Uh, I mean... It's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? The goal of our club, Seas, is to fight those shadows. However, simply defeating shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the dark hour itself. Ah. Uh... Nah, I don't really get it. Well, you're saying if we run around Tartarus, we can somehow get rid of the Dark Hour? We don't know for certain. Sorry I can't give you a better answer. But investigating the mysteries of that tower is part of our job. The bottom line is, we need more information. Everything we encounter there will be a vital clue for us. The exploration of Tartarus is of utmost importance. Consider it our top priority. Our society, while remaining blissfully unaware of the shadows, is slowly but surely succumbing to their influence. I would go as far as to say that the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of you Persona users. That's one hell of a responsibility. But the heroes of justice will prevail! It's also the perfect spot for us to train and improve our skills. That place is like a nest of shadows, you know. Whoa. Their nest, huh? But Senpai, what about your injury? Akihiko's still recovering from his wounds. He'll accompany us, but won't participate in the exploration. Yeah, I know. Relax! Oh, Junpei's got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. Not much point, anyway, since I can't summon a persona. Huh? We're here? Uh, what's going on? Why are we at school? Just wait and see. It's almost midnight.
This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything will return to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? <sighs> you don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. If we don't know, we'll just have to find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, huh? There's gotta be something in there. Hopefully some sort of clue about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be exploring it today. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. Just as crazy on the inside. Sure is creepy, though. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First, you need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. I'll help you navigate by feeding you information from here. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. A leader? Like... the captain of a pirate ship? I'm in! Me! 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 Pick me! <sighs> You're in charge. Wait! Why him? He doesn't look like a captain! Calm down. He has experience fighting already. Wait, seriously? That's true too, but the main reason is far more simple. Junpei, and you too, Takeba. Can either of you summon your persona without difficulty like he can? Yeah, of course I can. Me too. These are shadows we're talking about. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready, leader? <laughs> That's the spirit. What's the matter? for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into, how did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of something before you go any further. You must understand the nature of your power. The door you just passed through is the entrance to this realm. Of course, no one but you can see it. Your power is unique. It is like the number zero. Empty, but at the same time, holding infinite possibilities. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep 
that in mind. Now then, my spare time will soon be scarce. Next time, once again, may you open the door and come here of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until we meet again, farewell. Right? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Huh? What door? Man, are you loco? Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. We'll be following you. Come on, let's go. Leader. All right. So, it's the real deal from here on, huh? Looks well, easy to get lost in. Can you all hear me? Whoa! Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. Wait, are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. The structure of Tartarus actually changes from day to day. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. That's even more concerning. Now, Based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. This shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. You'll get the hang of it as you go. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? Right. Let's begin. Defeat all the shadows on that floor. I'll support you as much as I can, but it's up to you to learn something out there. Hold on. There's a shadow up ahead. This is the first real battle for Takeba and Iori. Proceed with caution. Alright. Let's start by going over how to attack shadows. When faced with an enemy, you have two primary options for fending them off. The first option is to use your equipped weapon. The second option is to use your persona. But remember, every persona has its own strengths and weaknesses. Knowing how personas work will be crucial. Try summoning yours right now. 
Embrace the moment and destroy the nation. Round slow motion, give me motivation. Break out now, the dead on the rise. Round the around, spit out them all over. Round the corona stone, coming in crowd. Watch out the moon and this sit out. Guess what this sound of bombs all ground. So round up, don't eat your pace, consider me as blue. I'll go with you. There ain't no choose. You don't come for me. Okay, looks like I'm a new goat. Check this out. Well done, Iori. Considering it was your first battle, you did well. Takeba too. You'll be fine. Don't be afraid to show what you can do. Got it. Good. Let's continue exploring. Another shadow up ahead. Let's get you more accustomed to combat. The battle's about to begin. Everyone, stay focused. All right, next, let's go over a useful approach for defeating enemies. Most enemies have an elemental affinity that they have low resistance to. Targeting weaknesses is one of the best ways to deal damage. Not only that, it can also knock enemies down. Knocking down an enemy creates an opening, letting you continue your offense. Weaknesses, huh? Done. I'll show you how it's done. Wait! Let me handle this one. Just point it to my head and pull the trigger. I can do this! Yes? Oh, you're not so bad yourself, Yukatan. That's it, Takeba. You give it a try as well. You performed as well as I hoped you would. Totally. I can take my eyes off you. Can you try not being a creep? Great. Looks like everyone's gotten used to handling their personas. Leader, take note of each member's strengths and conduct the battle accordingly. I can still sense some enemies around. Let's move on. Yeah. The heck? Hey! Found some kind of boxy looking thing. Yes, boxes like those seem to be scattered all throughout Tartarus. Sometimes they contain useful items for battle. Seek them out as often as you can. Oh, sweet! So they're basically like treasure chests. Hell yeah! Let's bust it open and see what's inside. Looks like it'll be useful. It's up to you to decide how to use it.
Shadow detected. Looks like they haven't noticed you yet. Now's your chance. Try sneaking up on them from behind. Make sure you stay out of their field of vision. such as any enemy weaknesses you've identified. If you ever forget an enemy's affinities, just let me know and I'll get that data for you. One of the most reliable means of attack. Whoa! That sounds so badass! Let's give it a try right now! opening it's like my body just knew what to do that was magnificent teamwork it's hard to believe it's your first time as you grasp the flow of battle you'll learn to coordinate with each other seamlessly let's apply what we've learned so far and continue exploring I detect another shadow up ahead take advantage of what you just learned Try not to alert the enemy as you move. I've covered the basics of combat now, but the most important thing is making decisions based on the situation at hand. I'll continue providing support, but this time, go ahead and try fighting on your own. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. Let's wipe them out! 
The enemy has been defeated. Excellent work. Um, was that...? Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. I suspected as much after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. Your chest looks different from the one before. Yes, that particular box is sealed in a special way. The box can be unlocked by its own mechanism, but it needs something else to work during the dark hour. What's that you got there? I wonder. Looks like you found a teleporter. Now use it to return to the entrance. Welcome back. So, how was it? It must have hit you all at once. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Wow! I never knew I had that kind of power! But damn, why do I feel so exhausted? Because you were bouncing around like a little kid. You say that, but you look pretty tired yourself, Yukatan. This is different. It's like I'm having trouble breathing. What's going on? That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I have to say though, I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. Not bad.
Salut.